India is facing an unprecedented rise in cases of COVID. But did you know that during such a crucial time, technology has taken the driver's seat in helping us fight COVID-19? This is Tech Against COVID, a series where we get you the best of technology and how it is helping us manage and battle this deadly, deadly virus. I am Cyrus John and in this first episode of TAC that is Tech Against COVID, we will look at the app landscape and the ecosystem and how it is helping us battle COVID-19. Let's rewind to March of 2020, when the first wave of COVID struck India. The restrictions during the first lockdown not only caused problems when it came to buying groceries or essential items, but also in delivering medicines and health products. So there was a massive opportunity for apps that could connect people to resources. Many mobile app development companies that rose in this pandemic learned and understood how COVID-19 lockdown had affected mobile users' behaviors. There was a surge in daily internet usage and people were searching for ways to get things delivered. India's digital transformation was kick-started by, unfortunately, a pandemic. Several telemedicine and e-health platforms also grew rapidly during this time. Medicine deliveries and e-consultations were at an all-time high between 2020 and 2021. Which brings us to now, the second wave of COVID-19 that is wreaking havoc across the country and has claimed the lives of thousands of people. The demand for oxygen, for plasma and even hospital beds is huge right now. Social media has played a major role in connecting people during the pandemic. Hashtags highlighting SOS calls for oxygen cylinders, medicines, hospital beds, etc. across Twitter and Instagram stories are helping people hunt for COVID-19 resources. While this seems like a good system, it is not one without its set of challenges. Firstly, the information on social media platforms is very cluttered. And even though you can use filters, several responses you receive don't have verified leads. To fix this, some app makers have attempted to step up and streamline the demand and supply end of things. One such example is that of Truly Madly, a dating app that has recently launched an online forum called Corona Clusters. Uh, the whole idea behind it was that we should be able to locate where all are the clusters around us. So Corona Clusters in Delhi, in Mumbai, in Vikaspuri. So that is how the idea uh, was uh, originated. So between Corona clusters and Truly Mandy, there are no similarities, but we have recently launched a new initiative on Corona clusters, which is called Plasma Matchmaking. Now that Plasma Matchmaking has a lot of uh, philosophical similarities uh, between matchmaking of you know a guy with a girl versus to a, a donor with a patient. So we are using the underlying same location proximity algorithm. We are using similar filters, right? So uh, just instead of matching a guy with a girl, we are matching a donor with a patient. Finding plasma donors on Corona clusters is a fairly straightforward process. Just log into coronaclusters.com, head over to the plasma tab, and there you can register your request by filling out a form that asks for your details like your blood group age and the date you tested positive. Your data is secured and is not shared with any third parties and it is stored on secure servers. If you are a donor, you have to fill in the same details along with declaring when you tested negative. You can then submit your details, fill in your mobile number and the OTP sent to your number. Then you can access the list of donors that match your criteria. So we have got some more than five, six thousand plasma requests and we have some 800 donors. Uh, so there is a acute mismatch of donor versus uh, request. A lot of requests are coming in, uh, not enough donors. So one thing that I will, I would like to appeal is if anybody 
who has gotten covid positive in the last 4 months please come on the platform and register yourself finding compressed oxygen has been a challenge for many people during the second covid wave which is why customer automation company called Verloop has joined hands with KVN Foundation to provide emergency oxygen support. It works in the form of a chatbot on WhatsApp where you send a hi to the number flashing on the screen. The chatbot will then guide you through certain steps so that you can find emergency oxygen supply. This service is only available in Bangalore and Mumbai as of now, but it is soon expected to expand its operations in other major cities. What if you want to get an RT-PCR test done at home? Well, platforms like Apollo Hospitals, Thyrocare and even Healthians are facilitating the same. You can log on to these websites and schedule a test for yourself without stepping out of your home. You will, however, require a valid prescription in order to schedule a test in most cases. That's it for this first episode of TAC that is Tech Against COVID. Next week, we'll be bringing you some COVID gadgets that you can buy online and some other essential information regarding the same. Do remember, your safety is important to us. So please, please, as much as possible, stay inside and maintain social distancing. And as always, for everything tech, stay tuned to Gadgets360.com.